Hello, what's happening, everybody? What's up, Angelic Knighthood Strove? Yes, Billy. The Prixie, Fulza, Suragonza, Deconic, Kishmish, Kadavin, Ziani, Echo, nice to see you, Pika, Satraleel, Rewind Shock. Today we might be heading to the Darkest Dungeon for the final time. We have two tiers of the Darkest Dungeon left. Not quite sure what to expect, but I think we have enough characters to uh, at least uh, give that an attempt. What's up, UR Ivan, 100 Cotton, Azom, Ragnarok, Tress, the Third Potato, Medieval Horde. Oogie Pock, Killjoy the Best, Friend. Let's hop right in. What's up, Griff? Look at this kitty behind me, though. Sweet boy. Sweet, gentle boy. What a guy. Rock Jizu, thanks for the seven consecutive months. Thanks for bringing the pack of Bebon. Appreciate that. What's up, Odie Odie, Terrace Plays. Lunar Wolves, Wizmander, Hatrian, Burai, Amanita, or the Lane. Lunar Base, Shuffle Shadow. Let's see what it even says over here. What does it say about the Darkest Dungeon? Activate three Iron Crowns. I do remember the layout of this one. It's like a... Triangle is the best way to describe it. So if we work our way around the edge, we'll hit all the, uh, the Iron Crowns. I don't remember anything about the enemies or the uh, things we had to fight here. I think there's a semi-boss fight inside of every activation. What's up, Esquire? Delta Recon, Moby Bear, Sergeant Cortez, Mriswa, Third Potato. We're going to have just a wonderful evening. All right, so if you uh, maybe you saw on Twitter earlier, probably not. Never rely on that as being a great way to communicate. But uh, we moved Junmas up uh, two days. So Junmas is going to begin on the 16th and run to the 30th. So it's now going to be 15 days in a row instead of 14. So we begin uh, two days two days sooner, June 16th through the 30th, rather than uh, it was, what was it before, 18th through the, the 1st. So Jumis is coming early. There'll be no stream tomorrow or the next day, and then we'll have 15 straight streams going from J June 16th through June 30th. Winter Mouse, thanks so much for those 500 bits, dude. Really appreciate it. What's up, Zed's dead. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we also need to bring these trinkets on, don't we? That's right. Hmm. I, I think that the crucifix is handy here. Oh, I'm trying to remember what everything is, and I just, I just don't. Okay, we can't bring these guys back to the Darkest Dungeon. Did our other person die? Yeah, they did. That's right, they died on the mission. Good evening, Delbach. That's a Spambo Jambo. SW Rambling. Thanks for the 36 consecutive months, dude. Would you like to be added to the Subscriber Hall of Fame below the broadcast? Thanks so much for the three consecutive years. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Another Hall of Famer joins the ranks. I'm sure we can get shuffled again here. I think I want to leave the designated healer or only designated healer left, Bunny Wild, um, for when we go to the third Darkest Dungeon, because the third one's the uh, the really the really long one. All right, Ramblings, I'm gonna add you right now, dude. Oops. Dun. Krishna, thanks for the great five months, man. Glad you're still enjoying it. All right, SW Ramblings, you're in there. Enshrined forever in the Subscribe Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. Communist, thanks for the five months as well. You guys are awesome. Thanks for keeping it dapper. You guys help me every single day. Mm 
Okay, let's go ahead and go for, like, Arbalist here. We'll go a Houndmaster as well. Maybe somebody with a self-heal in front. We could bring uh, a Leper. Maybe we'll run the Houndmaster in the three slot. No, that drops their stun. Crusader with Holy Lance is always great when you get shuffled. It's a speed on this guy. Seven versus eight. Hmm. Three speed, eight speed on the Jester. We could just bring a level five Jester here. Is that too, is that too crazy? I guess with more resolve, they take less stress damage, which is probably, uh, probably a good thing. Hey, what's going on there, Quantum Beat? Yeah, hey there, little fella. You know, even better, it might be taking on uh, one more normal mission. Hmm. Hellion's probably going to be what it is. Do we want to go for a Mark Party or more Sustain? Probably just probably just more Sustain. What's our self heal here? Can be used in the back three. Uh, the reason I'm hesitating on that is I kind of want to run Blackjack as well. Minus 30 prots, really good on any boss. We do have Bob McFace shield here too. We could go like... Uh, It's a pretty great mark synergy. I don't think that's enough self-healing though to pull it off. No designated healer, too long of a dungeon. We need uh, we need somebody that can heal other people. What if instead we went like something like this? No. Our only occultist already went to the darkest dungeon, so the only true healer we have left, uh, even available, is going to be uh, Bunny Wild here. So self-reliance on heal is going to be pretty important. Dark Assassin. 66. Thanks for the great two months, man. Mr. Mr. Ripcord, welcome to the Damper. Thanks so much for subbing with Twitch Prime. And Hell Whiskers, thanks for the uh, 500 bits, man. Holy guacamole, Gossix. Thanks for the four consecutive months. What is even happening? It's a stampede. The dock is in. Thanks for the 36 consecutive months, sir. Would you like to be added to the subscriber Hall of Fame below the broadcast? It'd be my honor to add you another Hall of Fame. We're not even one dungeon in. Unbelievable. You're giddy. Thanks for the nine months, man. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to get counterattack active right away. What does that really leave him, though? Okay, we can't heal ourselves from the front row, but if we duelist advance, we could. Hey, cheers, Mr. Ripcord. Glad it was helpful for you. Okay, this doesn't leave us Holy Land, so we do advance up here, which is good. We'll leave Holy Lance on just in case. Okay, Battle Heal can be used from the front too as well. Hmm. I think that leaves us adequate stuns. It also leaves us a mark too. Is this the skills I really want here? I guess it has to be. 
Well, when we slip in here, he's going to lose the blackjack ability. It's kind of a dice roll who goes first. The Houndmaster should go first more often on the first round. Oh my goodness. Storm 32, 145. Thanks for the three consecutive years as well. You guys are absolutely crazy. Thank you for the wonderful opportunity. Would you like to be added to the Subscriber Hall of Fame as well? Unbelievable. Re 36 month subs in like a 10 minute period. Unbelievable. All right, the doc is in adding you right now. I think we got the party here. The dog is in. You're in there enshrined forever, man. Thank you. Kibbles and Biz, thanks for the 16 consecutive months, man. All right, Storm, adding you as well. That's so cool. That Hall of Fame list has gotten uh, so long uh, over the years here, and it's so much longer than I ever would have possibly imagined. So grateful. Can we stun anything in the back row? We can get back to uh, three with the blackjack, I suppose. Uh, second question, do we want to run pistol shot here? Probably, since we'll be marking, and he may get stuck back here in some cases. He can also use pistol shot from the back three. Mm, well, if open vein, that could be pretty good. Same amount of reach. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the uh, the bleed here. Okay, we got our party. I'm happy with that. Yeah, he just got a little something on his face. That's all. He's fine. See? Just wipe that off, little fella. That happens after you've entered the darkest dungeon. Lots of graphical things happen after you've uh, completed your first. Okay, we're going to start by activity now. We're going to take a look at this. Um, no, we're not embarking with timer here. That's not right. Look at this little fella trying to sneak in here. Nice try, man. He's fine. Just wipe it off. Hmm. Oh, triple decker. Okay, what do you got? Clear mark could be good. I don't think we'll be marking with the Arbalist, but if we don't mark with the Arbalist, what else do we bring? Uh, could go for the Bola knockback. It's not terrible. Let's go ahead and buy this out. We're going to give it a shot. We'll just max this out too. Yeah, Crusader at 3 might actually work better here. The problem with Crusader at 3 is that if there is not a back row in the fight, they cannot move forward, and they have to waste a turn moving forward. So it's not always good, though it sometimes is. Uh, guard ally could be big on the boss if it's going to use that revelation skill. Maybe you want to guard uh, the person without the trinket? No. Yeah, we can use a stress heal if he's at three. That's true rewind shock. It's not all bad.
We still have Holy Lands in the... Um, Hiya Man's going to go before the Crusaders. We can make that choice for him. We're going to Duelist Advance Horde to put him into three if we think we're going to be able to uh, use Holy Lands. We got there. Yeah, it's only for the boss, so if we can switch to Guard Dog um, for the boss fight, that might actually be uh, to our benefit. How long does the Guard last? Is it two rounds? And we're going to try out the, uh, the bleed here. If I remember right, and this is very foggy from the last playthrough, which has been a long time, I think um, whatever the enemies are very resistant to, which I think is Blight, or maybe Bleed, if they're resistant to Bleed inside the dungeon, we know the bosses aren't going to be Bleed resistant, and then we'll equip uh, Open Vein 5. Only one round on the guard is pretty tough. Hell if I know if there's a setup for that. Let's go check their camping skills real quick. Okay, Gallows Humor could definitely be useful. What do we actually want to keep here? Don't need to prevent night nighttime ambush anymore. So we can actually drop Bandit Sense. I really doubt we're going to use clean guns. Yeah, one round on the guard just wouldn't make sense overall. What do I, what do I drop for uh, guard, though? It had to be Hound's Rush or maybe the self-heal for the boss fight. Yeah, I guess that's going to be it. Stun will still be useful. Hey, it is going well indeed, NG. We're only on week 61. We're about to take a shot at uh, level 2 of the Darkest Dungeon. We have three people in the graveyard currently. Yeah, not gonna really gonna need wound care here. Uh, therapy dog, really amazing. You know, as is the stress reduction for uh, zealous speech. We got mega stress reduction there. Cool. We got big heal for triage. Marching plan, honestly, uh, quite nice. I'm going to keep field dressing. I think we're going to keep it just like this. Um, restring crossbow is nice, but let's grab uh, not wound care. Pep talk instead. Got healing here, stress reduction, stress reduction, and uh, we can make ourselves more powerful if we want to, I guess. Tyrax Bell, thanks for the seven consecutive months, man. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. All right, I think we got it here. Looks uh, looks decent. Check the order here. No, that's not right. Can I afford to have him in position one? That drops Lick Wounds. I guess we could get uh, Guard Dog instead. Yeah, this still leaves him Battle Heal. I don't know. Hmm.
Is the Cry Havoc a party-wide stress reduction? So it seems a little more straightforward. Okay, that's pretty decent then. Mm. Percent chance on each character. Okay then. I'm going to grab self heal here. Mm. Dropping that stun's pretty tough, but, uh, you know, how how much stunning are we actually going to do here? I guess not very much is the answer to that question. Weekiality, thanks for the 11 consecutive months. You are wonderful. Okay, let's bring the trinket on uh, everybody but... The Arbalist, I guess. I guess that is true, Grudge. There's not too much use for marking. Um, I mean, the minus prod is nice, but I guess overall damage is better. I'm going to move into more utility after this, because he said that. I think it's a good idea. Okay, we're also going to give him... Darn, that's tough. I kind of want to give him this for the extra, the extra dodge, so he can actually guard people uh, effectively, but I don't know. Okay, let's give him the overture box here. He's gonna he's got a super high dodge, I can guard people. Seems legit. Might save our bacon. Okay, I'm going to give him the uh, talisman here and the ancestor's pin. So it could be a bit of a truck it up a bit there. All right, torch and. I don't think I can give up 20% stress here. Hmm. Age of 29. Thanks for the 8 consecutive months. Mac to 18. Thanks for the 21 consecutive months. And Mr. Junkhead 87. Thanks for the 2 consecutive months, dude. Hey, you'll get there, Mr. Junkhead. We got time. Maybe I give him... Uh, I know what I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him the crucifix. Yeah, this thing right here. That's what you get. 39 max HP definitely is low. Sansador, welcome to Dapper Man. Thanks so much for subbing with Twitch Prime. You're awesome. I don't know if I can do that on him. Only 43. How much HP do you have? 55. You can afford that. Mm hmm. I'm going to get in the stress book, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do I just go with the stress book? I don't know. We do have stress reduction here. You know, let's just go for the plus 25% damage. If we go crazy, I don't know. I don't want to drop HP on him. Okay, I found it. 
I'm gonna give her the plus 30% healing skills. I'm gonna give um, him the crucifix. Low HP, what are you gonna do? Thirty-nine HP is very low. We have adequate healing though and stress reduction. No, this is not how I had it set up. There we go. Ooh, sun ring is an idea. Do we have one of those? We have a moon ring. Yeah, we do have a sun ring. Who would that even fit on, though? Nobody, really. Now, swap his skill here. We're not going to be using marks, I don't think. We'll drop mark for self-heal. I think what's left over for uh, the next dungeon. I think we're going to run double Plague Doctor next dungeon. We go double Plague Plague Doctor um, Vestal. Okay, we're going to do the Sun Ring on him instead. It's just a straight damage increase and it doesn't drop his HP. Where'd it go? Am I going crazy here? Did I already equip it on somebody? I did. Oh my god. It just threw me so hard. I could have swore he still had to equip. I guess we swapped it out for the exact right square. That was, uh, that was nice. That's nice. Let's get on out of here. Yes, I know. We don't win, it's really bad. I think I might drop an anti-venom to bring... Uh... Now, actually, we have no removal of uh, Blight or Bleed on either or any of our characters, so having that extra resource is going to be more important than the Holy Water. Oh, we don't have any torches either. That could be really bad. Ramrod42, thanks for the eight consecutive months, man. You're amazing. Is six going to be enough? It is a long dungeon, so we can camp twice. We have really good stress reduction uh, in our camping. It's a long dungeon, too. I guess we're going to run uh, one stack each. We're not running Hellion this time, so that's not so bad. Can I get rid of Doctor? I don't think I want to. Uh... 
You know, I think there's not anti-venom, or we don't have a use for anti-venom in the dungeon, but maybe we have a new part. Okay. With two campings, I think 24 torches is going to be plenty. Let's get on out of here. The thing has no name, for it needs no language. Nevertheless, those who would submit to its word this will are rewarded in a fashion. The creature's blessings are as repulsive as they are robust. Twisted, half-human monstrosities stalk the flesh-ridden halls, protecting their gestating god. Okay, let's go left first. Madness made flesh. Hey! It crawls steadily upward from the cool pit, hallway, supported man. by the lattice of Cyclopean pillars. Man, do I want to take down the uh, the cultists first, or do we want to take down the priests? Do I have any reason to actually drop um, or use the dog bone on a non-boss? Let's get the let's get this guy out of here. Nice bleed, man. Okay, duos advance. There we go. As the enemy crumbles. Give him a cutsin. The finger. Oh, I can't bandage myself. Okay. That does change things a bit now, doesn't it? Okay, can't battle heal either. Hmm. Might have to change our strat up a bit here and drop him back to three. We could inspire and grind. That's the only real heal we can do. I'll bet if they're switched, we can use the bandage on ourselves, can't we? Yeah, okay, Puna. Thanks for that. You're right. We can bandage ourselves if they're in three, which is probably what we should do here. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Ooh, doggy, that's the stuff right there. Did good. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay, his skills are not affected by being her, and uh, hers are improved. There we go. Now we can now we can heal the arbalist. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Okay, so if I remember the layout of this, it's like a big triangle. So we're gonna head down to one corner, work up to the other side, and then come back down. Uh, this is really foggy, so I could even be misremembering uh, the other dungeon that we did, uh, you know, last time. Who knows? The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Okay, I think duelist advance. Do we want to kill this malignant growth first or the dude in the back here? Malignant growth seems pretty bad. A powerful blow. Mm -hmm. 
Does this guy only do uh, that skill? What does this guy do? Daze the mind. Does he do anything else other than daze? Because if that's it, we could use a little healing opportunity. This guy has to do something else though, right? Yeah, he does maul the flesh too. Yeah, get out of here, kid. I'm gonna smite this guy because he's still got a turn. Yikes. Thought I was doing myself a favor there. is broken. Maintain the offensive. Oh! Okay. Man, this guy can do a lot of damage. It's like, do we want to try to heal more here or not? I don't think so. As the fiend falls, Duelist advances and activates the counterattack on uh, on him. My thought is the boss might be down here. It's too vague to remember. Let's just eat here real quick, though. Okay. Went through a lot of food there. That's okay. That's what we brought uh, stacks for. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Hey, okay, it was. I'm glad we ate that food, though. Yikes. Man, I'm torn here. Do we go straight for the, do we go for the polyps here? Or do we go for the uh, Templar Impaler? Probably the polyps first. Who doesn't have the trinkets? Yeah, time for a doggy bone. Good idea. Let's, uh, let's guard her. That's fine. Ooh, good thing we did. That would have been really gnarly. Impressive. I wish I could get back there. We can't, though. Stun resist isn't great. Let's just grab a heal on him. Let him duel us advance, please. Thank you. One call up down.
Ooh, doggy, there we go. Get in it to win it. I don't think the base stun really justifies this here. Um, Fourteen, though. Okay, he's blighted for ten damage around for three rounds. Yikes, a Roni. The ground quakes. Revelation will absolutely destroy a character if it does not have this trinket equipped. We only have three of that trinket. It's the way the game is designed to go. Oh, don't knock him back like that. I guess that's no harm for my other characters, so we can just uh, have ourselves a heal. Torment. A dizzying blow to body and brain. God, the guard's so good here. Nice crit, dude. Pandera PKM, thanks for the four consecutive months. You are awesome. Appreciate you. Man, do I go for Wicked Shot here or Point Blank? Point Blank would definitely clear the corpse. Now we're real close, so like a crit away. Nice dodge. Just chop him down, son. Yes. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Okay, I think Remind now is probably a pretty good time to camp. Slow and insidious killer. Let's make it back to this room and then camp. Yeah, there's no real way I can avoid uh, avoid camping here. HP went way too low. Together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. Uh, okay, we're gonna triage here. Yeah, it's real helpful. All companion. This is party minus fifteen. All companions. Got nine left. The three, three, and cost four. Okay, we're gonna go plus two speed, uh, all companions for four battles. We're gonna go uh, all companions minus 10 stress and a stress debuff. Maybe I just encourage here. Has a huge stress debuff, but yeah, let's take this. Minus 25% stress for four battles. We get 35%. Nighttime ambush cannot happen inside of the uh, darkest dungeon, so we don't have to worry about that.
You know, I'm kind of tempted to come back this way. I don't know. Or maybe go up and then come back down. Why go through rooms that we don't, uh, we've already got, we don't need to go through. Uh, we know our boss is, boss is going to be here, here, and I think up here. So yeah, let's head back to rooms we've already gone through. And we'll just head down the other hallway rather than tracking through these. If I remember this right, I'd be pretty stoked. Uh, there's no actual scouting chance in the darkest dungeon. When you reach a new right. room, it'll uh, show you the next room. Is how it works. So ambush and scouting chance are negligible. All right, man. I mean. Oh, I left him at point blank shot. Okay, that's fine. The time turns. Yikes. Really wish I had a stun. If we could get just these two guys, we could uh, heal up here, but that's tough. I'm going to see if I can get this to a point where we can, um... Actually heal up our stress before leaving. I want to see if it works. We have stun on Crusader, but it does not hit the back row, so we can't stun the person guarding. So we're kind of playing this uh, weird waiting game here. Okay, counterattack works. Got it. That'll do it. Let's give this a try. Oh, you're right. We can stun the guarded guy. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Good call. Clarified in a single strike. Dun, dun, dun. Still guarded, though. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, he's not guarded anymore. Okay. So, what we're doing here is trying to leave two enemies that can't damage us alive. It's going to be a small advantage, but it allows us to leave this fight with full HP and stress reduction, too. If you have a double-sized enemy or two regular enemies, you're allowed to, uh, you're not going to call on reinforcements. So we have, we have all day here to, you know, heal our stress up a little bit. So that's going to be a very specific circumstance in this dungeon only. And if you have uh, some staggering stuns, you can do something like this in a lot of other dungeons, but uh, not for as long as these guys, which are only going to do, it looks like they have a heal and a guard. If that's all they're going to do, then no problem.
No, guys, I'm getting so excited for Jimmy. We're going to have a massive swap out and uh, change out of emotes after tonight. I'm pretty excited for that. Hey, nice Ocean MMO. I haven't been like hyping up Jumis or anything. It's just going to be a fun little event where we stream for 15 days in a row. The real hype is uh, Fragmas, but you know, Success I am so excited for the uh, two weeks of streams as well. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Um, let's go left. Hey, for sure, I was in. I feel like Fragments last year has really set the tone for this year, and uh, it's been a really wonderful year thus far. Thank you all for being a part of it. Okay, this will just connect these two. Got it. Sure, we'll have it. We'll have it eat. Hey, space goes. Good luck with the interview, man. Okay, uh, defensive growth and malignant growth. We haven't seen the defensive growth yet. Let's go for this guy. Okay, he guarded the guy that uh, I wanted him to. That's good. Hey, now. No need for that kind of whippy-wappy around here. Yeah, daze me. I'll cut you. Oh, plus accuracy and crit. Good for you. I learned my lesson. This guy is, uh, does buffs. Done him up. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, doggy. Injury. That wasn't so grievous. He's just that good, Puna. He's just that good. gonna break. He's a doing just fine. Ah, actually I was hoping he wouldn't die just yet there, but he did. Fair call. Well, we're still alive, right? A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Okay, we know it's going to be a boss room, I'm pretty sure, anyways. I'm going to chug holy water here. Maybe this will save us a little bit from getting blighted or something. Hey, what are you guys? Flesh hound. That sounds like it needs to die. I'm going to go ahead and eat a dog bone here.
Okay, is he gonna bleed out? Almost. Is that a pull? Resist, nice. Oh my god, I didn't, uh, I did not guard the person without the thing. We did not get punished there, though, thank goodness. Okay, is he bleed out next round? Not quite. Oh, do I really want to hit him like that? No choice. Okay, Arbalist can hit that one. She's still got a turn to go here. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, four damage for three rounds. Uh, we're alive. Da, 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 da. Da, da. All right, now we're guarding the Arbalist. Here we go. That's right, get him. Got him good. I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself because we'll be using triage on our camp here. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Ain't it though? These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. You know, the one round guard seems like it kind of stings, but it really makes two of your characters somewhat immune, so it's not awful. It does seem like kind of a waste, but I don't think we've had problems uh doing the deeps. Okay, we get back to this room and camp again. Definitely backtracking here, though. That was a different boss type, if I saw it right. That guy was different than the one we just faced. So I'll be curious to see if we get that. That boss we just got, which seemed easier, or the, uh, the other one. I don't know what the real difference was. Uh, the Blight did 4 damage instead of 10. That was a difference. AOE Blight versus one target Blight. Okay. You know, I'll bet the uh, Holy Water really helped us out there. Alright, I think this is our room to camp here. Let's not take any chances. We only have one boss left. Cool. Get a nice heal up Gathered here. Close, right on. In tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. We're gonna triage. We're going to marching plan. We're going to therapy dog. And then we'll. I'm gonna go unshakable leader here.
Triage is a fantastic skill, absolutely. All right, we got one boss left to go. One flame left to put out. Hey there, friends. Okay, flesh wall's fine there. Oh my goodness, look at this kitty on top. James, so condescending. Got two kitties. Oh man, he can't quite get there either. Okay, he's stunned, fair enough. Um, I think we actually go for a heal on this dude. No, don't. Okay, when he's actually stunned, he doesn't counterattack. I suppose that's fair. Get him down. We'll go for getting the kill on this fellow. Daze me, but I'll kill ya. Okay, we can stun him this round, so there might actually be an opportunity to heal here. He's bleeding out in two rounds. I suppose he could heal himself as well. A 32 crit, hello? Well, uh, if he's stunned for his next turn, we might as well go for the heals here and get one more full round through. Okay, he can heal himself, but that's fine. I don't think he will. Okay, he's got a plus healing receive. Let's just drop it on him. That's it right there, good enough. All right, successful Beware fight it. was successful there. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Okay, Crusader's still gonna go, so he's gonna stun him to remove, uh, remove that. Okay, guard's gone. Gives me the easy peasy kill here. That devastating blow. Some stress reduction on him would be really helpful uh, for the rest of this playthrough. Um, I don't mind leaving these two alive here. Let's try to use this as a small opportunity. <laughs> This guy can hit, but will he? I don't think so. Mm 
Okay, he's not getting plus healing yet. Let's reduce his stress a smidge. That's right, doggo hugs for healings. Give yourself a banner, friend. Cool, HP and stress levels looking uh, much better. I guess Mall of Flesh just doesn't do that great of damage. The bleed is pretty nasty, but we brought uh, bandages for just such an occasion. All right, it's time to go in for the kill. didn't get him? Yikes. Nice dodge, bud. Fourteen, five, four. All right. Have yourself an inspiration. We're good enough on HP here. I feel good about what just happened. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Hey, that guy was ready to fire. That's right, Gungo. We gotta give credit where credit's due. I agree. All right, this should be it. We're on our last hand, and this would mirror the hallway, make the triangle complete. What do we want to do here? Let's move all the way up. Uh, let's go ahead and have one food on each person. Uh, let's give the Arbalist a holy water and the guy with the lowest HP. Okay, I see. It's one of each. Um... I guess we kind of have to hit the first one first, because I can't hit the back row with the Crusader, so we're off. Actually, their stun resist is 98%, uh, so probably not going to work. Woo, doggy. Yeah, battle heal's pretty tempting here. Let's go for the chop, though. His damage is way better than the Arbalist. We'll use her for a heal. Point blank blamo. Don't knock him backwards. Okay, we can still do this advance, though. So, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for the sniper shot here. We got time. Uh, we got time to recover. Yeah, reveal all you want, partner. I'll cut ya.
Okay, I'm gonna go for a heal here. I just don't want him getting one shot. He's way too good right now. Woo! That sizzles. Nice, uh, nice resist there. You did good. Revelation pretty much insta kills anybody without this trinket, which is our Arbalist. That's why we're uh, guarding them every single round. Oh, get slammed, James. Perhaps the turning point. Dunno. Forty-two HP left. Let's get in here to win it, baby. We can do over half right there. That's right. Oh, the counterattack kill. Oh, base size has no intrinsic merit unless. Wow, that went incredibly well. Look at look at our party right now, though. We have six combined stress in the party. I cannot believe how well that went. That composition did so good. Nice. Alright, we got some stuff. That's fine. Don't even stress about it. Thanks, Chosen Gamer. Yeah, that's where we're at. The maniacal cultists are quelled for a time. But there can be no celebration. Mm. Your progress is measured only in progressive realization. And dawning horror. You are in the shadow of the end. Nice, man. All right, so everybody got stress healed there. We forgot to put people in for, um, you know, help. I think I know the party we're going to run here. Uh, we've been saving the Plague Doctors for this one right here. T1 Knight, thanks so much for the 500 bits, man. Appreciate that. Run, dude, run. Thanks for the great six months. Congratulations on being humanitis free. Okay, we're on week 62, and I think we can finish this off um, pretty soon. Course Crimson Course releasing. I don't know if we'll play Crimson Court the second it releases, but we're obviously gonna get one more playthrough done. I think our next playthrough will be a complete playthrough, and then there's probably Stygian mode after that. And then after that, probably done with Darkest Dungeon. That's uh, quite a bit ahead. So our second playthrough in uh, the past, what, four years now? Three and a half. Lego Man 1326. Thanks for the 14 consecutive months. You're amazing. The torch behind their name means they've been to the Darkest Dungeon. They will not go back. You can only use a character once to complete a Darkest Dungeon mission. Pasuke, thanks for the great 11 months, sir. All right, guys, I'm going to stand up, stretch, uh, stretch my legs, get some more water, use the restroom real quick. Encourage you to do all those same things as well. Thank you so much for being here today. We'll hop back into the Darkest Dungeon. I think we're just going to go straight for Darkest Dungeon 3 when we return, uh, return from the break here. Why not? Tron 56 and Yasukai, welcome to the Dapper, guys. Much love, everybody. Look at this baby kitty, though. Just a little angel. We'll be right back. No ads for this break or anything. Only do ads during the uh, food break each night. Appreciate your patience during this short intermission.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks so much for your patience during that short intermission there. Alright, nobody's got any stress here. We'll just sort by levels. If put all the torch guys first, it does. Alright, um... I do believe we're going to run the Abomination finally. I know the Abomination's only, uh... Level 5 here, but they should be okay, right? I don't know. Crimson Centurion, welcome to the Dapper Man. Appreciate you. Well, Abomination does uh, bring the deeps. We're gonna run Double Plague Doctor, Abomination, something. Probably, um. I'd probably save Highwaymen for Darkest Dungeon 4, though, right? I don't know. Four A bomb all the way. Well, that's a bit much, I think. Hey, glad you're enjoying the content, Sildari. Uh, thanks for coming over on Mr. MV's recommendation. I appreciate it. Well, let's head on over and uh, think about this real quick. What can you guys tell me about Darkest Dungeon 3? Granted, I've uh, done it before. I just don't remember where the Locust Beacon is. My gut's telling me top right-hand side, but <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, Hellion could be good. Hellion has, uh... Some pretty amazing, uh, sustain. Yeah, it's gonna be like an endurance dungeon for sure. Center bottom, people are saying. Okay, well... I guess we'll figure it out. We'll t head kind of downish and right, okay? Iron Swan's really useful for this dungeon, they say. And we do have Meat Shield sitting here at uh, level 6. Oh, wait, they've already gone. Do we have uh, another one? We don't. We do? All right, if we go Quantum, Beep. What's your hysterical blindness? That's not good. How fast is the Hellion 6? So, Duelist Advance would not be great here. We can save Duelist Advance for the next one. Who's going to have a, a good amount of sustain to work with this? Yeah, it's, it is him. This is it. This is the one. We have self-heal available on all of the characters. Uh, if our characters get mixed up here, it is uh, definitely a problem. But there is no surprise in the Darkest Dungeon. So, um... I think it's going to be okay. The reason this combo is exceptionally powerful is we have a back row stun, a front row stun. We have a stun on the abomination as well. We have cell, we have a party heal that removes blight and, blight and bleed. Remove blight and bleed, uh, self heal. We got great healing for not having an actual quote unquote healer. This is uh, this is the group I really enjoyed playing with on the way up, so I think we're just going to take it in. Con Insanity being level 5 is a little bit uh, problematic, but uh, what can you do? I guess the problem is we don't have any stress heal. Da, da, da. You know, I don't think we have the camping skills. Um, Quantum Beep's good. You can get Revel, which has a debuff attached to it, but if you uh, bring herbs, you can have that too. Uh, 
Hey, thanks, Sim. I really want to use this party, but I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, fantastic. Can the doctor remove insanity? No. Cannot remove mortality stuff. Now, what I could do is swap in a Houndmaster. Uh, maybe I'll do that. We could run... Save Double Plague Doctor for Darkest Dungeon 4. Mm -hmm. Why is life so hard? I don't know, I feel like the healing sustain is like super, uh, super on point here, but the stress removal is not. Since the dungeon's so long, and the net, the one after this, I believe, is all just straight combat. I think we have to go for a Houndmaster instead. I think we have to run Houndmaster here. Which will give us that stress heal situation there. We still have, um... Exactly what we need. Now the question becomes, if we're going to run, uh... Iron Swan, do we drop Breakthrough? I guess that has to be it. Hey, would you look at that? Abomination in 3 has all the same skill ability, other than their uh, Transform, which I'd have to use Slam, which is still great. No, we need Cry Havoc av available. It's actually a pretty tough call. If you uh, run him in three, you have one of the best stuns in the game in Blackjack that you can uh, you can bring in. <laughs> this is tough. So let's just call this our party and look at our camping skills real quick. Really excited to bring Abomination. Granted, it's a level five Abomination going into the Darkest Dungeon. Yikes. Worst that happens is we wipe. Banix, thanks for the nine consecutive months, sir. Really appreciate that. Okay, yeah, we have to go revel here, and we'll just bring herbs to counteract that. Get uh, minus 20 stress on the entire party, as well as a stress, uh, uh, basically aura for four battles. That's nice. Yeah, I feel good about this. Okay, Elnath, we're running in spot three. We don't need the guard dog this time. We do need Cry Havoc, which apparently I did not buy on them. Fair enough. Cool to be using new skills uh, this late in the game. Not cool for my bank account, but that's that's working out just fine. Antiquarian really carried our funds this run. Okay, we're not going to use scouting ones here at all, so we might as well pick up Encourage. Drop scouting chance for that. Experimental Vapors for healing is uh, definitely good. We don't have any other major healing skills. Maybe we want to pick up Wound Care on a couple people. We have Stress Reduction on them and them, so maybe Wound Care is going to be choice here. Hey, I agree, Wizmander. I mean, I took a careful thought process to capitalize on uh, using the Antiquarian, but it definitely improved our ability to make money. I 
I don't feel like disease is even uh, an issue here. What's next? Let's go ahead and equip some trinkets. Oh yeah, skills here. Didn't quite finish that, did we? Guard's definitely good if somebody gets low. We don't have any other synergies to, uh, you know, go with our mark. Slot four, Plague Doctor, Noxious Blast, Plague Grenade, Blinding Gas, and we're in it to win it there. Emboldening Vapors can also be really nice. Uh, Corpse Clear uh, could be really nice, another stun as well. You have to drop probably Plague Grenade for that, though, and I don't know about that. Shuffle is amazing. Shuffle can bring the enemy in the back row to the front row. You know, it's been working uh, good nonstop, so why not? Yeah, we need a full upgrade here. Cluster Frog, thanks for the four consecutive months. Thanks, keeping a dapper or Twitch Prime, man. Appreciate your membrane. Thanks to everybody that uh, subscribes and resubscribes to Twitch Prime. Can't tell you how much, uh, how grateful I am for that. Trinkets. Well, I feel like uh, the sun ring here is going to be a good call. Can we afford plus 20% stress? You know, for plus 30% damage, probably. Or we could just go one and one on that. Nah, Hellion has to be our big damage dealer. Has to be. Eldritch Hater and Manslayer. That's got to be good for us. Okay, so 45% extra damage versus Eldritch. I think since we have the stress reduction versus Eldritch too, we're actually in a pretty great spot here. Quantum Beep's going to hit like a truck. There's no, there's no doubt. Hmm. Dan Leader, thanks so much for the 29 consecutive months. Hope you're having a, a wonderful evening. Da, da, da. Suke only has a uh, 38 HP. Let's give them the overture box and then we'll bring the blasphemous vial as well Stun and blight skill chance. Maybe we just want to rock just blight. We're not going to be relying on stun super heavily Though so that back row stun to start off the uh, party is pretty decent Plus 15% accuracy range skills too good Minus 25% stress inflicted on party from skill transform. After camping, that should make it so we can pretty much freely transform, I think, if we had uh, double stress debuffs on the party. Oh, wait, we have the... Hold on here, hold on. We got something even better.
We got the Ethereal Crucifix. Eldritch damage and uh, that's 25%. Who else is really going to be our main damager? Probably the Abomination. I think with the, uh, the padlock, we can transform almost every time. Shady Dreamer, thanks for the great 26 months. Appreciate you. So I guess on him I'll go uh, Restraining Padlock. And we'll go for the Crucifix, right? That's got to be what it is. We're bringing the deeps. How Master is the last one left here? I mean, we haven't gone for Stress Reduction. Maybe we go for a Dodge, so if he actually needs to Dodge somebody uh, or Guard somebody, he can. What a combo, Shady Dreamer. Thanks for the two years and two months, dude. Jersey Drew, welcome the damper. Thanks so much for subbing with Twitch Prime and Chose Gob. Thanks for the big 5 0. Appreciate the 50 consecutive months. Holy guacamole. Shadow Remix. Thanks for the 38 consecutive months. Wow. Yeah, stress reduction is great if you're guarding, isn't it? Yeah, let's just give him that. He's not our damager. Though, do we have an Eldritch Slayer's Ring? I don't think so. Got moon ring. Focus ring. Mm. Is there anything left to do? Beast Slayer. That's going to be decent. Yeah, you might as well go for a few cures here. Why not? See if Fellwalker needs anything here. Faithless. That's not too bad. Actually, it doesn't do us any bad at all. What's up, Bobby boy? Okay, tuckered out's not good. Let's get rid of that. Hippo taco, get that hysterical blindness cured. Let's give Gruber a clean slate for once in his life. Do, 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 do. We're not going to run the stun stick on the Hound Guy because he's in uh, slot three, so he's actually not our stunner here. We have a uh, Yop on the Hellion, and we have Blinding Gas there, and we have Manacle on him, so no need for a quad stun here. We also have one, two, three, four self heals or party heals equipped. Should be good. It's going to be a long dungeon. There is no time limit on the difficulty we're playing on Fire Pixie. It would be 87 weeks for Stygian, I believe. We're currently on week 62, headed into phase three. So we'd be well on pace here. Bounix, thanks for the 100 bits, man. What a player. Shields up four. That's incredible. 
Man, I think I might camp on uh, square one then. That's a lot of camps. I guess you might as well wait a fight. Okay, we're not going to bring holy water this time. We are going to bring... Uh, man, if 24 torches isn't enough, we're screwed. We got through that entire other one with about uh, 10. Skyliner 80, welcome to Dapper Man. Appreciate you. Okay, we're going to buy out the food because we're smart. Um, I mean... We can cure Blight Bleed with uh, the Plague Doctor's Heal, so I don't think the Anti-Venom or Bandages need to have uh, that much priority. However, each time we camp, we can remove the debuff from the Hellion skill, which we'll use for sure for, uh, for four herbs. Shovel's not needed. Can we drop dog bones here? Is that a thing you can do? You can't. Okay. Okay, we'll see if this comes back to bite us. I don't think it will. Yeah, we'll use the treats early and often. Let's go. The interminable stone holds about an antechamber. The creature is vast beyond measure and must be battled from within. Step over the threshold and let the terrible truth worm its way into your mind. The Gateless Gate. A maddening aperture to realms beyond human understanding. Which way we should go here? Um, let's go down. Hey there. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Venomous flim. Oh yeah, that could definitely be a problem, couldn't it? Stunning secretion. Yikes. This guy's not messing around. a puppo hug. Ah, 
Oh, he went next. Bummer. Good dodge. Destroyed. This yeah, that actually wasn't too bad on the stress there. I mean, could have been better, but... Okay, I'll I'll go right. Hey there. Um A torch here for the sun before we do that. Ooh, plus stress. That's no good. All right, let's go yop here. Okay, I do want him to die. He will die in two rounds, though. The question is, do I get to go before him next time, or do I just take him out now? I might regret that. Might not, though. I <laughs> forgot to use the treats already. I did. It's okay. Well, the resists on this Hellion so far so good. Nice dodge, bud. Okay, he also bleeds out next round. Let's go for a stressor heal here. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Ain't it though? Ain't it? Thirteen damage chained to the face. Hard to argue against that. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. <laughs> We got him. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Okay, we're going to assume these connect together, right? So let's head right one more time and then see if it goes up or down. I think we're trying to head down, downish here-ish. That is correct. There is no scouting in the darkest dungeon. It shows you new paths at the start of each room. <laughs> Hello! Um... What do I remember about this guy from my last playthrough? It's been so long. I think if we kill this guy, he just gets resummoned by him, so. A stun here is very good. 
I think we have to just target this dude. And yes, we will dog tree here. Good idea. Well, no reason not to mess around here. Let's go. Now, if we're going to be here a minute, Rake makes more sense. The small one can TP you to a different room. Okay, so I guess... Uh... Oh, don't miss that. Her job is going to be to kill it. Puppo treats. I really think Iron Swan does more than 25. I'm gonna I'm gonna say she can do it in one one go. Ooh. Okay, let's go ahead and cure the blight on this fella. Ooh, it didn't quite get him. Okay, it didn't teleport us though, that's good. Bulging games, hey man. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Oh, blight blighting here would be good too, but I mean uh getting a heal also nice. I don't know if I can rake every time. I think we should actually go for rage here. And now I can't iron swan. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna slam forward here so we can knock. Okay, we didn't knock him back. Fair enough. Um, keep chopping then. Ben, sir, thanks for the nine consecutive months, man. You're awesome. Puppo crit would have been cool, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. This guy might get me. Clutch Puppo. Give them no quarter. Clutch Puppo. Nice crit. RV Gambit, thanks for these seven consecutive months, man. You're awesome. We're going for the kill here, that baby. Devastating blow. Okay, he dies next turn that he goes. Could maybe uh, teleport us, though. Let's rake him. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Okay, here's how we don't get teleported by this chuckle face. Talix 318, welcome the damper man. Thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all that love and support tonight. Get him. Got him good. 
Success so All right, HP wise, we're definitely not where we want to be, or but is it really <laughs> okay, not mind. bad. Not two shams. Let's have some food. Okay, SWA 1987. Only one more month to cure that humanitis, sir. You can do it. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay, we're um, camping after this fight. Give that man some pocket sand. It's, it's got to be time to camp after this room. It, it's just, it's time. Man, I can't do anything from back there. All right, um, I, I'm going to transform. I'm going to do it. I guess we'll just adrenaline rush then. I was say knockback there is actually helpful for her back into a uh, primo position. Um, I'm gonna go for this because we're gonna use rake next. Enjoy that lurk, Saruman. Take it easy. All right, might as well. We're camping here. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. All right. Time to camp. Let's go ahead and eat eight for sure. That should go just about a full heal. Nice. That worked out great. We're gonna use uh, Revel here, which is minus 20 stress for the party and 10% stress debuff for everybody. We got this nasty debuff, but all we gotta do is rub some herbs on it. And it's just like we got minus 20 stress and 10% stress for four battles. Uh, run Therapy Dog does basically the same thing. Now that we're at 20% stress uh, for everybody but the Houndmaster. Kai and I, thanks for the great two months. Thank you all for the love and support, guys. Really appreciate it. No need for the vapors. Plus 25% damage for four battles for four stress. The stress is not too bad. We can remove uh, 15 of that. We could all just battle trance to make Iron Swan even crazier. You know what? Let's go for it, man. 25% damage is 25% damage. Just psych up, and then we'll uh, encourage him to calm down. We're currently in Darkest Dungeon 3. Yes, the comic. Hmm. I'm 
go down here. Okay, that one did connect over. Let's try going right again. The light, the promise of safety. Go down farther. Hey, hey there. Da -da. Hey, that bleed worked out pretty good. Is Beast Bile gonna work here? No, we can't manacle either. Well, let's see if we can stun him up a little bit. Nope. Annihilated. It's pretty good. We did not become displaced. That's nice. Let's try that again. We're going to hit him. We're going to try to keep stacking here. I'm going to transform next round. But let's go uh, blinding grenade here. Okay, good. Transform time. We do have the damage boost here, so let's go for it. Give him a raging. Good evening, Terra Moose. Hope you're having a great day, sir. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I'd like to stress heal here, but let's make sure we're getting that kill. Nice crit, Puppo. Right, just a pupper doing his job. Come on, lady. Um, okay, now I'm gonna go play grenade, I guess. Hmm. Okay, I'll use my dog treat here, because I think Hound's Rush plus the Blight will get him. Or just the Hound's Rush, my goodness. Get raged on. Do it. Almost. Okay, play grenade becomes quite good here. If the blight lands, he'll bleed out when he moves. Damn. That was a stressful move, dude. Scree indeed. Plague it. Give him a whippy weapon.
I can't believe we brought the level 5 A-bomb into this mission, and it's been working out so well. What a life. I guess that does it. He's gonna bleed out. If I get to heal, I get to heal. Monster's size has no okay. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Um, you know, I, I think we're gonna eat a couple of food on him, at least two. Yeah, I guess that is true, Capride. It always eats up its turn when that happens. That is like a stun for it. Hmm. I feel like we're in the right area ish. Okay, we fought one here, and we fought one here, so if it was blocking us on both sides here, going to this room would make sense. Let's go ahead and camp first. I don't... I think we're in the right area, so I don't think we're going to screw over here. We're also not getting teleported. We know our party composition. We, we've confirmed it. For a fact, now we're capable of defeating those enemies without getting teleported. I didn't remember what we were going to be facing, but it turns out we uh, made some good choices for that. Okay, we're gonna revel here. Gonna rub some herbs on it. We're gonna therapy dog. We're gonna wound care him for funsies. I guess vapors would have been overall better. Let's go Battle Trance, sure. I should have waited to do this. We can uh, herb it up again. Cool. Hey there! There's one thing I know here is these puppers are nasty. So we're gonna blind them. That was definitely a good choice of a first move, I'd say. Okay, let's go for the one we're gonna be able to hit with everybody. Oh my goodness. You guys are fine. Just let me crit for you. Damn, Rhett's really OP. Like, I always felt the Abomination was good, but, you know, not like this. Yeah, that boost we got from um, our camping skill was just enough there. Okay, uh, let's Noxious Blast here. Got good speed. Okay, this will be kill confirmed on the bleed. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. Yeah, for sure, Wiz. He's scaled really well. This abomination is level five right now. It's really. Uh, Debating if I wanted to bring him in here. This turned out to definitely be the right choice. So too will resistance. Is 
this room look different? I feel like it does. Ooh, we're at the quest location. All right, all we gotta do here is execute. We still have the damage boost here. I'm pretty confident we'll get uh, the Iron Swan one-shot, which does speed things up for us. Do I want to count on that? Probably not yet. Okay, we're going rake every time here. We're going to get the damage boost this time. Cut him right in his eye hole. We got, uh, I don't know, incredibly fortunate. A uh, little bit of critical thinking here. Remember, we got to try to get blocked both places here, so to head to this direction. <laughs> but uh, uh, otherwise, very lucky getting through the dungeon. I didn't do any lookups or anything. I tried to avoid reading chat there to, to see anything. But as always, feel free to discuss the game in its full capacity uh, as much as you'd like. Helps us all learn together. Iceboxer, thanks for the nine consecutive months. You're awesome. Da, 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 da. All right, we're just gonna repeat the cycle again. Blinding stuff. Nice crit, dude. That lets us uh, give him a chopping. A singular strike. Wow, he didn't even go for the summon. I'm not mad. I'm impressed. That gives me a chance to Noxious Blast ya. Yeah. Instead of summoning, he healed. He knew what was happening. Nothing good. Okay, blinding gas. Here we go again. Let's camp real quick before we do it. I don't know. I think we have a fight after this, so if we camp, it'll be better. Maybe. A moment of respite. It's not gonna hurt a anything, that's for sure. Oneself against the coming horrors. Therapy doggo. All right, we'll revel again, and we'll go battle trance. It worked out good last time. Oh no, that's it. Okay, we're returning to the hamlet. Let's not let's not uh, you know, just hang out. Wow, dominated there. I was scared. We really ended up with the perfect party composition, and that was uh, more luck than skill, because I remembered very little about that dungeon. I didn't even remember the mechanic of the guys At blocking you from the, the room until I fought, the fought him the second time. Bare for sword or supplication.
Wow, man. Well, I guess that only leaves us one thing, and that's to head to the darkest dungeon the final time. Kill one heart of darkness. I believe this is only a uh, just a single fight. Why not, you betcha? Yeah, that run did. It felt too easy, run, dude, run. I don't know uh, it, what happened there, but everything worked out exactly like it was supposed to. I think what really made that look easier than it's really intended was just that we had the uh, that stun combo that made the boss fight look really stupid easy. If we would have got teleported a few times, it could have got extended a lot further. It's many fights back to back. Okay, this is our time to bring our healer finally then. All right, guys, before we take on uh, another Darkest Dungeon here, I'm going to take a, just a short a short break to stand up and stretch. Uh, as easy as that may have seemed, it was still very uh, tense for me. I had no idea what to expect there, but we got there. Be back in just a few short minutes here. There'll be no ads for this break. Only do ads during the food break. So thanks for your patience during this very short intermission. Stand up, stretch, get some water, take care of yourselves. We'll return in just a minute to hopefully finish off the game. All right, we have returned during that short break. Lego Shrimp, welcome back to the Dapper, I believe. 
hey man look at everybody answering questions in chat thank you all for sharing your knowledge and helping everybody out one thing i really appreciate about this community is everybody's willingness to uh help each other thanks for being awesome well uh we can run double plague doctor again is there any crazy blight resistance on the heart that i need to know about what's the must know about the heart fight i remember uh briefly at one point only having one character on my previous playthrough uh do i get a choice on which character that is Yeah, let's run Double Plague Doctor again. Double Plague Doctor is my uh, my little secret. It's the best of the best. We run Double Plague Doctor, though. We're going to run in slot two. Hmm. Three so far, multicast. Okay, another question. Do the sacrifices you make uh, in the in the fight count towards your deaths for likes, did you? Mm -hmm. Do do do. Okay, essentially at set boss HP levels on the hard fight, you choose a character to die permanently. This makes the last half or the so of the fight harder. Okay. Okay, you can lose Stitchy in the middle of the boss fight. That's fair. I mean, we won't bring the uh, the Vestal. We've been not relying on Vestals here, and I've been liking them. Man, maybe we do want to bring uh, bring a leper. We don't have too many choices left. In fact, this is about all we have. Let's uh, figure out which of our lepers has better skills here. We got Slugger, Eldritch Slayer. That's pretty nice. Beast Slayer as well. Calm, minus 50% damage on first round. That's awful. How about you, Delbok? Well, not as much good damage stuff, but uh, not minus 15% damage on the first round. I guess that's made up by Eldritch Slayer and Slugger. Zarenma's too good in this situation. Sorry, Delba. Lassius, thanks for the great 38 months, dude. What's up, uh, Cletus C? I'm talking about it a few times tonight, just briefly here. We have June Miss coming up, which is a uh, two, two plus week stream event. We're going to stream every day from June 16th through June 30th. You watch a lot of my channel, you know we're very consistent about our schedule here. We've been on a five-day a week schedule and rarely, rarely deviate from that. Of course, life happens, but uh, proud to say we've been pretty darn consistent over the uh, 1,608 shows uh, as of tonight. There'll be two weeks of streams coming up here in June, so there'll be no stream uh, tomorrow or the next day, Wednesday and Thursday, which would be normal scheduled stream days, and they will kick off 15 days of streaming in a row. Heather Slayer, thanks for the two consecutive months. You are awesome. Okay, so theoretically you can one-shot the boss and avoid death. So I'm guessing to do that you had to bring two or three uh, Plague Doctors and then emboldening Vapors them up um, so high that it just one-shots it. Do, do, do. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, every form of the last elder. So let's just go with this party. I think this is going to be uh, good. You know, I don't think we're going to go for the buffing here. We're going to do the fight natural like it was designed. Um, we're okay now. Let's soar by activity here. Do we get a chance to camp on this one? No, it's short, so no camping. So camping skills don't mean jack here. We also got 63 HP. So what if we go for something real cool here? We'll go for um, another 25% versus Eldritch. So he's going to have... Oh, this is plus accuracy and crit. So there's the damage. We got plus 10%, 35%. And then I think we give him the pin, too. He's going to be slamming. Only minus 15% on the first round. It's only anything too great for range skills here. Um, you know, I guess we'll bring the sun ring on him. Can always burn the first round on stunning and buffing. That's absolutely true. We could bring the withstand here, which I think withstand could actually be uh, awesome versus the boss. If you use withstand twice in a row on the the leper, you can get 80% prot. I mean, how good is that? Uh, pretty good. Minus two dodge for plus ten accuracy range is okay. We're gonna be using mostly duelist advance though. Not this playthrough, no red caribou. I think my next playthrough, which I'm not sure when that will be, um, maybe not even at the release of Crimson Court, because let's be real, a, a true darkest dungeon run, especially complete ones, probably a three to four week process. Can take up almost a month of stream time. I don't think we're going to have the entirety of June Mist be all darkest dungeon. But next playthrough will do everything, and I think after that there will be uh, a hard mode playthrough. And then I think that's all of the... Um, All the hours that are there. Hey, Scary Atheist, you can try live streamer, which is playing streams through uh, VLC, but sometimes technology just doesn't cooperate. Frustrating, I know. The head can be good, but we're going to run into a lot of stress problems if we do that. What's up, Sindler? Great to see you, dude. Let's come back to him here real quick. Let's go to the uh, the plague doctors here. 
Okay, we got two Blastmith Vials, but uh, are we going to need that much back range stun? The nice thing about the Vial is really the plus accuracy range skills. Question, does Noxious Blast count as a range skill? It does. Well, okay, we'll give them each a Vial and each a Book of Stress, probably. Their damage is all over time, not in direct hits. Could also give one of them plus 30% healing. That's a little bit silly, too. No light can reach the heart. The sun ring would not work. Okay. So when we get to we get there, we're not going to receive the bonuses for the sun ring. We'll just have that. So does that mean we bring the moon ring instead? You need your vial, too. All right, let's just give him a book apiece. We could overture box. You know, let's overture box on him, and we'll book on them. Moon ring should do it. What's the second trinket going to be? That's tough. Speedstone. I don't think that's the one we want, but you know, it could be. Extra damage versus unholy, probably not even good. Less dodge for more accuracy can be nice. You know, since he's the only guy without a self heal, let's just give him a heal charm here and have a nice day. No, it doesn't work for the boss fight at all. Why is life so hard? In the grand scheme of things, this decision will probably not matter, but gotta be sure. Clockwork 001, thanks for the nine consecutive months. Appreciate you. It's not even good. <laughs> Bring the map for scouting. No, not this time. Cam card 113. Welcome to the Dapper Dune. Appreciate, appreciate you. So much love tonight. Yeah, Speedstone is looking better and better, isn't it? What's the speed on this guy? Four? So he's going to go first pretty much every time. You know, let's just bring the stress book on him and call it a day. No. We're going, we're going all in it to win it, baby. 39 HP. Mm. I can't do it. Let's go life life crystal here. 52 HP sounds better. Okay, we got there. We got our party. SG Doc, thanks for the 41 consecutive months, sir. You're amazing. Hey, what's good, Delayed Storm? Thanks for keeping it dapper, dude. Four consecutive months. Non stop resubs tonight. Let's uh, get on out of here. I'm ready.
Not gonna hurt anybody, that's for sure. And always bring a shovel just in case. Carcane, welcome to the dab. I think it's a welcome back. You are wonderful. Hey, Schmatty boy. Good call. Good call. Rosetown Rugger. Thanks for the three consecutive months. Sorry about that. Humanitis. The leper has the ethereal crucifix, the ancestor's pin, and slugger, and bee slayer, and eldritch slayer. Oh, it's it's a big old hallway. What's happening? Don't get stressed out already. Everything's fine. A ghostly premonition presents himself. Is it really him? In all my terrible researches, what I sought was a glimpse behind the veil, a crumb of cosmic truth. I found it here. And in that moment of brain-blasting realization, I ceased to be a man and became a herald, an avatar of the crawling chaos. Spam W for a secret room about midway through. We'll give it a go. Just like a little extra Easter egg. Life feeds on life. In your petty pursuit of family redemption, you consume those who rally to your cause, and in so doing, you strengthen the thing, accelerating the end. This is as it should be. It is why you are here. There it is. Okay, yeah, just a little uh, journal entries. That was one of 22. We didn't do any of the journal entries uh, on this playthrough. We are chained here forever, you and I, at the end of the world. Free yourself, rouse the thing, and embrace the ineffable cosmic hideousness that lives within us all. Hey, everybody, just a little stressed out. Not a lot, just a little. You still foolishly consider yourself an entity separate from the whole. I know better. And I will show you. Okay, he's got 80 prots. Okay, he does not have high stun resist, though, so we can definitely go blinding glass here. Or gas, excuse me. Okay, he did resist that. Good for him. Okay, the front ones resists are not good. 247%, though. That's a bit much, I think. guy has such low HP. I, I, you gotta kill the other guys first, right? That has to be it. We 
are the same. We are not the same. Alright, Hugh should be lined up for the kill here. What? Yeah, I think we do have to kill him at the same time here. Or the same round, anyways. Or we just keep killing clones over and over again, and eventually uh, he'll die. <laughs> I don't think so, though. Don't do that. Cadenza Forte, welcome to Dapper. Thanks so much so much Twitch Prime and C has. Thanks for the nine consecutive months. You are awesome. Um, so. Dude, that stress is pretty intense on him. Can we not? Hey, there it is. Now we're getting down to the business. Okay, he's gonna die out in his next turn, so no point in stunning again. Ooh, doggy. That's the goods right there. Well, I'm gonna advance only to uh, activate the counterattack here. Okay, he's only got 73 stun and we have a blasphemous vial so this should stun the back row he'll tick uh one more time and then it'll tick down completely kamikaze panda thanks for the big five zero dude and appreciate you keeping down for the past 50 months be bleeding down not quite Oh yeah, 
Yeah, you can do that. Good for him. Hope you've been awesome, Kamikaze. If he's a darn long time, sir. Let's go ahead and do this and uh, point blank shots. Man, we got so many cool emos coming for June Mist. I can't wait to swap them out tonight. Can't even do nothing to him. Let's just toss him a heal. Have a potion, friend. All right, this is it. This kills him right here. I say we get in it to win it on this fella. That's a good idea, Chasm. We'll pop some holy water here. All right, he's done next time around. Let's activate the counterattack. We are not the same. Okay, what do you got, bud? Irrational, don't be irrational. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's okay though, he can still shoot stuff and that's what he's good for. Everybody else is low stress too, so this is, uh, you know, decent. Ugh. That's right, counterattack will still be very rational here. Point blank shot's still gonna do it too. The flesh is fluid. It can be changed, reshaped, remade. Absolute nothingness, okay. He's got a lot of HP there. Um, I mean, I guess hitting this actually does nothing. Uh, maybe we just withstand here and then uh, start slamming that back row with Plague Grenade. Leper is not great here, I guess. Okay, he's only got 73% stun, so we can definitely stop his turn here. <laughs> Thanks for marking yourself, dude. That was, uh, that was real radical. see it now. That was not looking too shabs. Okay, we got a lot of blight stacked on this guy. That's good. Ooh, doggy, blood in the mud. Let's 
Silver Moron, thanks for the great 38 months, dude. Hope you're having a great one. Twenty-four damage around for three rounds. That's like seventy-five damage. Seventy-two if you want to be exact. We're gonna go ahead and go for a heal here. A little more sustain. Under that blight, what am I gonna do about this 30 damage a turn? Hmm. <laughs> Just a little vinegar and brown paper, please. Okay, bud. That is a bleed. The flesh is immortal. Hey, Playbook has we're actually on the final boss of the game Gray right now. But to summarize the entire game, suffer. which I'd be happy to do right now, uh, is it's a level-based uh, RPG, basically. So you level up your characters uh, through your town. So you have everything like a blacksmith and guild, so on and so forth. So you level up your characters and your town with stuff you find in the dungeon on your way to this final dungeon, to this final fight, which is this uh, nasty-looking heart. Man, do I battlefield medicine here? Or do I go all in? I think we just keep Noxious blasting. It's only 184 HP. This is the one that kills us. Darkest Dungeon is really a one of a kind game at the end of the day. Whoa, he just did it himself. No, this isn't it. We're supposed to top or time ourselves right now. Okay, you gonna let me vanish this time? No, you're gonna mark yourself. Well, good for you. Pretty tense here. Hey guys, we're dropping some frames, but no need for panic. I'm sure it'll stabilize here in just a moment. It always does. Either that or it's having some hiccups. That's fine too. We'll just keep it chill here for just a moment. Ooh, that was a mighty yawn. Do we actually heal this guy in the blight? How much is the blight going to heal for him? It's four damage for three rounds. <laughs> 